Welcome to the Land Geek Podcast, your resource for information and tips to making money by buying and selling land. Let the Land Geek show you how to make a passive income by working smart, not working hard. Learn strategies and tricks to make money buying and selling raw land today. And here is the man that's going to help you do that, the Land Geek. Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek, from your favorite niche real estate website, www thelandgeek.com and today with a new Blue Yeti microphone living the dream in Carlsbad, California the hardest working man in land Jeron Frazier landhub.com reserveland.com he just registered a new domain Jeran, what's Mark, up, don't lie to people I've stopped. In fact, I will tell you about domain names. I actually stopped buying domain names for a period of time because I had so many that every day I was getting GoDaddy expiration emails. <laughs> yeah. did, did I, I sent you that that uh, site that you can sell your domain names on. There's like yeah, a marketplace. Did you like that? You don't, you don't think I've ever found one of those before? No, I thought I was being completely innovative. Wow. I'm like, look what I found you. Not. You were completely not being innovative. In fact, it was a horrible website. But thank you for sharing that with me. Um, and can I have that three seconds back of my time after reading that email? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. You know, I, I just wanted to quickly give you a huge shout out and say thank you very much. Mar you know, Mark and I, we, we, we give gifts to each other. And, uh, and last week I sent Mark an email. I said, Mark, you know what? I need a new microphone. And I didn't expect Mark to, to send me a microphone. The dude sends me an email back five minutes later and it was on the way. And I was like, you know what? This guy, Mark, he's a, he's a good dude. I mean, you know, once you get past, you know, the surface stuff, he's a good dude. Yeah, I mean, once you get past the personality and the looks, yes. deep, deep in, down inside, there's, there's a core of a, of a decent human being. But it's hard to get past those layers, man. It yeah. is. And, no, I, and, I, and my I, wife reminds me of that, like, every day. Yeah, no, she, you know what? You, and you have a very, very, very sweet and cool wife. So you're yeah, a lucky thank man. Thank you. I am lucky. I am very lucky. But all right, so what's going on in the world of Frasier Enterprises and your various yeah. ventures? Um, well, you know, I've got a couple of things, you know, still focusing on LandHub, uh, working, working away, just finalizing a couple of different things. We've kind of done a soft launch, uh, moving into a little bit harder launch, and then, and then most likely bringing on a couple additional employees. And uh, so I'm excited about that. Are you having fun with it, time, or is it, is it a headache? No, it, you know, it's, it's kind of a different beast for me. You know, I'm so used to doing, uh, you know, real estate related um, projects, not online, but, but uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a very interesting one. I mean, I know online so well, and I have a background in web and, and uh, internet and software and marketing. So it's really neat, but at the same time, it's interesting. Okay. So, okay. and then I, I, I'm getting. Uh, well, let, getting, let, me, let me ask you. Yep. If you knew now. If you knew then what you know now, would you have gone forward with LandHub? Hundred percent. Wow. Okay. Hundred percent. That's good. That's good to know. Yeah. No, I think I think the in. I mean, at the end of the day, here's the here's the here's the dilemma that I that I faced, and I think a lot of entrepreneurs face is when you're starting a company. Generally speaking, uh, you you need funding to push a company forward. Well, in my case. I had the funding to sort of push it forward, but I had a kind of a, uh, you know, what I like to say, my delusions of grandeur of, of kind of creating a little bit bigger product, which took a lot more money. Right. And, that and you were self-funding. You didn't bring in outside investors, correct? Correct. So I was self-funding for quite a while um, w with several employees, and then I decided um, to step back and, and sort of build a, what, what they call an investor deck and send, send that out to different people and see if I could actually raise some capital. And I was looking at raising, and I think we discussed this, Mark, and we've done a, on a podcast before, um, between like five hundred and a million dollars to to get this thing completely built out. Um, so it, that for me, as a person who's actually invested in several different companies and 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 looked at deals, it was really interesting being on the on the flip side, right? I've helped several entrepreneurs with their with their investor pitches and decks, and and uh, 
but I've never been on the other side. So it was really interesting for me and, and, a, and very unique being on the other side and trying to actually raise money. And I felt it was like this dog and pony show that I just wasn't interested in. And, and you know you what? You know what? If you're Instagram or you're, you're creating some software, I mean, all those guys did it, right? I mean, sure. it, it, take, it, takes, it, takes, it takes these, you know, round, these, these several rounds of funding to, to get a lot of these, these um, softwares and platforms to fruition. You know, you look at and, – and there's companies that have raised $100 million, and we've talked about this before, like Clout – and they've never really done anything. They're not monetizing. There's no real revenue generation. And they've raised like 130 million bucks. So, so uh, you know, you want to build something. I have something that, can, you know, it's already generating revenue. So that's a positive for me. So I sort of step back. I, I pushed that approach for about six months of raising capital. Now I've decided to kind of self-fund again and focus on getting the thing uh, launched, doing a hard launch here shortly. I love it. I love it. And it's, good. it's just going to be such a huge time saver once you get that thing up and I mean it's already up and running, but once you get that Craigslist API, correct? Yeah, you know that. So, so the, the interesting thing with Craigslist, and we kind of stepped back a little bit. We pushed that for about five months, and we've almost got it complete. But we actually stepped back from that because we felt like we were spending so much time on one piece, right? And it wasn't necessary because that that's really important, and I want to get it done. And obviously, it would be a huge game changer um, for that platform. But it, we're so close, and because we're having a, we had so many hiccups, I said, you know what? Let's just put it on hold until we until we get this thing launched, raise some capital, have the cash flow, and then we and then we can build it. We build it ourselves. I don't have to go raise additional capital. Right. Right. Let me ask you a question. You're a newbie, right? You just started. You went through the investor's toolkit, and now you want to sell your first piece of land. Where would you Where would you go first? What would be the first thing you would you would do to advertise? I mean, Craigslist is the easiest way to go. You would definitely do Craigslist over, say, spending maybe fifty bucks on Facebook or a hundred bucks on Facebook. I mean, here's here's the here's the dynamic though. You, you if you don't understand Facebook, and you don't understand what your target market is or your demographic is, you're wasting your money. Okay. So now, if you told me, hey, I'm I'm a pro- professional at Facebook marketing, I'd say, of course, that's your that's your you know first place to go. Now, why not why not market simultaneously? Why not do you know thirty bucks of that and throw it on Craigslist and another twenty five bucks on a you know, land and farm. I, mean, I think it's forty nine bucks to on their website, but whatever. You know, a couple of different websites and see what you can see. See what kind of uh, traffic you can get. Yeah, yeah, interesting. So, okay, but I, do you have, do you yeah, have a couple curious. of people that are, are struggling? No, I mean everyone's doing pretty well. I've got a couple people who've got, you know, they really focused on deal flow and they got a bunch of deals in the pipeline and they're they're ready to sell now, and now they're getting ready to to do that, and you know we're. We're going to take that kind of approach, you know. I really like the list building aspect of of Craigslist or Facebook or eBay, and start building that relationship, and then start selling those people through promotions. But for direct selling, just get that first sale. You can't beat the price of Craigslist. You just I can't. Agree. I agree, hundred percent. You you can't. And there's so much traffic; it's crazy. And it's so, so much traffic. Yeah. So it's you know it it, it isn't. You know, it's not easy. Uh, it's you know, not you, you, easy. They ghost you. They flag you. It's terrible. Yeah, but at the same time, you know, you, once you once you get uh, your system nailed down, it's so much easier. And uh, and it's funny because I'm always building new processes, right? I'm building. You know, we've talked about before, Mark, lead pages and sort of your funnels, and then they just they just revamp their entire website. Lead pages did. Yes. Yeah, I, um, love, I love lead pages. I'm in lead pages every day. Yeah. So, yeah. so bil- building is less. And, you know, that's one thing that, you know, if you can just dig into, like, really look at lead pages, see how you can utilize all aspects of what lead pages does. And it's 34 bucks. I would probably. What do you mean 34 you have, bucks? I'm paying 67 bucks a month. Uh, I'm sorry. You don't have the Duran deal, do you? You have a Duran deal? Yep. Um, how'd you get that deal? I know people. Why don't you get those people to lower my <laughs> rate? <laughs> I, no, I, there's different. There's different levels. You probably got a little bit different. Like, I think you're on like the the. There's like the. Um, I, I, know, I, I got the big hitter level. Yeah, you're the big hitter. You know, yeah. I'm, and I'm kind of like you know, I'm kind of like minor league guy, like the farm leagues. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. So, you know what? I'm gonna become an affiliate for lead pages and put it up on my site. So, so Mark, tell me what what kind of deals you're working on right now. Okay, so right now I've got a bunch of stuff in northern Arizona, just closed on, in the process of selling. Um, and those are selling super fast. Just sold a property in southern Arizona, uh, made over a 1,000% on that. 
That was a really nice deal. It was, it was you know, inexpensive, but you know, it's it, it pays it pays for a nice dinner out. I think I paid a hundred and fifty bucks for the parcel. Uh, no, I'm sorry, three hundred bucks for the acre, and I sold it for over eighteen hundred cash. So and that's six hundred. That just just from math purpose, that's six hundred percent return. Was it six hundred percent? It's okay. I, you know what? Maybe, you know because okay. I was thinking the one fifty, but it was really three hundred because it was two parcels. I'm I'm a human calculator, but that's you okay. Are. I, but you know uh, what? I'm not going to complain. That no, that's because, still ridiculous. Because it's a cash I mean, deal. that's that you can't. If anybody would say, you know, Mark, that's horrible. That's a you know, that's a bad deal. That's awesome. You, yeah. Nobody, nobody in their right mind would look at that and go, "Gosh, what a bad deal." I mean, it's, that's still an amazing deal. I mean, so. you know, if I do two of those a week, right? That pays. Yep. That 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 pays for a couple things. Yeah, and, and, and it's you fun. Go, it's easy. You go to Sizzler once a week with the family. No, no, I'm really, <laughs> I'm, I'm really trying to cut back on the red meat. Yeah. <laughs> so um, and and so and or any anything outside of uh, Arizona? You doing anything in Nevada? Yeah, you know, I'm in negotiations right now to sell that whole uh, 200 lot subdivision in Texas. Um, working on that. Nevada is going really well. I'm looking to buy more there. Um, did you hear about Tesla? The Gigafactory? I just did a, a blog about it. You don't even read my blog. I, yeah, of course I don't. Of course I don't read your blog, Mark. Do you yeah, read my blog? Gigafa- no, but Gigafactory is changing everything. Tesla Gigafactory. is changing everything. Yeah, you know, I just so you guys all know, Mark has a has an addiction. I've never seen Mark with an addiction before. Coffee. I mean, even I can't even say he's addicted to land. But Mark has an addiction to Tesla. The guy told me I mean I have some connections uh, one of my investments is in a um, uh, is in a uh, uh, in a I don't know, what's what is it he's a he, he he buys and sells exotic vehicles and so Mark decided that he was gonna bug me and see if I could help him get his Tesla well he literally didn't stop texting me and emailing me for I want to say what three days mark three days I want the Tesla um, and but, so, I want, but I don't want to overpay yeah, he doesn't want to overpay. So Mark wants Mark wants to basically pay less than what the other guy pays for the car, which I don't. I told Mark I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I, I take the I take the land selling the land buying approach to everything I do. Yes, like I'll go to Safeway and I'll negotiate. I'm yes, like, really. I'm, I'm the same way. Like if I get my bill, they say it's ninety nine forty four. I'm like, oh, how about this? How about I get I pay seventy four dollars? <laughs> and they say, no, sir. And I said, okay, then just take away the macaroni and cheese and the rice, right. and just make sure it's seventy four dollars. Yeah. And then I feel like I'm, I feel like I won. It's so funny though because <laughs> you know, this business skews everything, right? Because we're so used to getting such amazing deals. Like I just assume I should be able to get a Tesla pennies on the dollar, like I do property. Yeah, and I'm going bad. to. I'm going to. That's I guarantee you, there's someone out there that can't afford their payment on that Tesla. There's yeah, someone, called, and I'm going to find that person. I'm going to solve swap, their problem. It's called SwapLease.com. Really? Yes. Or, or you know what you could do, Mark? Nobody what? would ever know. No one would ever know if you bought a salvage title. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying salvage title on Tesla. Uh, so uh, anyway, so anything, or, any, or should I else? wait for the for the uh, the Moto X? That thing looks cool, but that's going to be another yep. hundred. That's a hundred grand too. Yeah, that's that's just peanuts, Mark. I mean, for a guy like you, that you know. Yeah, but I don't want to pay one hundred thousand dollars for it. You are the depreciating pound, You are eight hundred pound gorilla in the room, buddy. You whatever. I don't want to pay that kind of money for a, <laughs> for a depreciating asset. I could take that same hundred and buy tons of property and make three hundred to a million, right? Exactly. That exactly. that's why, uh, you know, I can't do it. Yeah, I'd, I'd like I like the idea though. Of helping the environment and looking cool at the same time, yeah. And my kids will think I'm cool because they think I'm such a geek. Yeah. Can you imagine if I had a Tesla? How cool they think I would be? Yeah, you would be pretty cool to a few people. See, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's going on with you, deal wise? I know you're working uh, on some big I'm, deals. I'm working on a couple of deals. Um, Still working on the mining project that's all coming to fruition, which is great, and uh, looks like we will be uh, in the drilling process hopefully by the end of the year, which would be amazing. And um, so, just it's it's funny because that that whole process has been a little time consuming. It's been you know we've been talking about it, I think you and I for like a year now, six months to a year. And uh, you know when you're working with investment banks and and raising real big capital, it's a uh, little just interesting, just interesting how the process of it. You know I'm I'm used to things going faster, and banks don't work that way. Right. So I'm, I'm so surprised you're still in it. 
Honestly. Yep. And then uh, and then I've got a uh, pending uh, transaction of a couple of large properties, a couple of 640 acre parcels, and uh, those are I think we're somewhere in the what are we in there eight per acre? I think like um, probably like uh, 700 bucks an acre. So wow, those properties. So so they're uh, they are. I think one of them is about seven hundred bucks an acre, and and the other one's a little bit less. But uh, they're in a, they're in a good area. So and and the return. I think I paid about ninety ninety an acre. Ninety so, an acre. Ninety an acre. Yeah. So and you're selling for seven hundred. Correct, but it, and it's and it's a cash deal, which is amazing. So that's why is someone overpaying from you? They're not overpaying. It, the property's in a great area. So, I mean, some of, some of the stuff, we actually did some studies for uh, an alternative energy project, which I think I mentioned at one point, for, so, for a large commercial solar project. And we have some, some what's called inter- interconnection studies and some other, some other things that I think they were attracted to. So, uh, the, group, the group is very keen and, and uh, we're in negotiations. Well, as well, we let me ask you this. That's a big deal. You're going to make several hundred thousand dollars, right? Yes, sir. And yes, you're going to have to pay taxes on it. Mm-hmm. Would you do a 1031 exchange? Potentially, Yes. Okay, so let's walk the list. You know, it, it, all, it all depends, right? It, it all depends, and, and uh, you know, it kind of goes back to um, you know, I would, I would, my wife and I have contemplated a move to Nevada, not just for tax purposes, um, but that's obviously some motivation. Why would you move to Nevada? You can't well, you know, I had Nevada. a house in Incline. I had a, I, I, we had a house in Incline for how many years? No, Six. I know that was the second house. Are you gonna do a second house? Uh, you know what? To be well, here's the other thing because I'm, they're they're going to look at it and they're going to say where do your kids go to school, and they're going to say well, San Diego. And they're going to say well you're you're a California resident. No 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 we're not we're we're not we're going to actually if we move we're moving. You're really moving. We want to get we want to get a lot. Of Are you Mark? I've got so much going on in northern Nevada. It's crazy between the mining project, some alternative energy stuff I'm working on. I've got a lot of stuff up there, and it and we love we love Tahoe. Now, granted, I'll still come down to San Diego, and I might still have a place down here, but I will definitely spend six months and a day there if we do the transition. Really? Yep. Interesting. So, I'm just not opposed. I mean, I think when when you get to a certain point in life, you you know, you look from a financial standpoint. If look at the tax savings on you know the mining project and the and the you know land, the land project that we're in escrow on right now is is you know if well, you're yeah, saving. I mean, you're, you're looking at an eight figure payday on that deal. So let's you know that's real taxes. Yeah, so I, I think if you a, can save a couple million bucks in taxes, it's, it's worth moving. Correct, correct. Now again, all these are you know, I mean, you know, you have you have some paper wealth, and then there's real money, right? So when the when the check hits, hits the bank, it's a different story. Right. But it's, it's it's always preparation. So if you work on a big deal, you know, I met with some you know my tax guys today, and we just discussed this, and I said, hey, he goes. Just prepare yourself. Like you know, make make decisions. Don't don't make impromptu decisions that you're going to regret. Um, prepare yourself mentally for what you would end up doing. Okay. Have you spoken to a tax attorney about this? Uh huh. Okay. I sure have. And they're saying so. you should move to Nevada now. No, no, not not yet, not yet. I just said we were contemplating a move. So um, you know, we have to look at. Uh, there's very there's several variables, but that's something that I would. I mean, as everyone you know, everyone. Most people know that Nevada is a you know there's no state taxes and right. uh, and California is I think 13 percent now. Yeah, it's crazy. So it's you know 13 percent can add up quickly. No, I, on yeah, absolutely. I mean it's so, it's it's real savings. What's that Arizona state tax? Eight percent. Eight point. Yeah. Well, I think Scott says eight point nine percent. So it's getting right? up there. It's yeah, it's not as high as California. I don't yeah. know. It's. It's certainly not California. Yeah, but it's not so, Nevada. I'll tell you that. So, Mark, let's uh, let's chat a little bit. We got a little something coming up here in November. Yeah. And- okay. So mark your calendars. It's official. We have. You know what? I haven't officially inked it though, but it, we are going to ink it. I uh, I'm still negotiating a little bit with Brittany. But no, it are, is you at- are you serious? Are you serious, Mark? Because I like to negotiate. Just whatever. You're terrible. You're Why? terrible. Whatever. Scottsdale I got her, Resort. I got, I got her to call you back in like five minutes. Yeah, she loves you. Scottsdale Resort and Conference Center, November seventh and eighth. Duran and I are going to be there. Another two day Land Geek Boot Camp. Duran, what are we going to discuss? What's on the agenda? Just land, Mark. I mean, we just got to infiltrate the brains with land. Yeah, the- we're we're going to have fun. We're going to talk about deal flow. 
We're going to talk about due diligence. We're going to talk about marketing, right? Exactly. And I'll be a little bit more. I I was a little bit. I was, you know, it's funny because it was my my first. Um, you know, I, I've 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 had a chance to speak in front of people before, but I, I don't know what it was, but I was a little nervous that 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 time I spoke, Mark. When we when we uh, I mean when we were going back and forth, I was fine, but the minute I got in front of people and then I went, I got so crazy I started singing an opera song. I just there was something going on in my brain. Yeah, it if was, you want to hear really good opera, yeah. How is your voice, by the way? You sound really good. Thank you. Yeah, you I've been uh, I've been resting my voice, and it feels a ton better. And I'm supposed to I'm supposed to go see I think a, a vocal therapist or something which I should do anyway and you should do as well. I should see a vocal therapist. Correct. Just I mean your 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 voice is my fine. My wife wants me to see a therapist therapist, but not uh, a vocal as therapist. You, as, as you speak and and you know Mark probably doesn't talk as much as I do. I talk way too much. Um, you you tend to strain your your vocal cords, so uh, it's it is possible to to have issues even if you are you know. If you sound great, so Mark, you, you, it may be worth your while to go talk to one just to make sure you're speaking correctly and and I don't know what they they use certain words like using your diaphragm when you speak. Really? Yes. <laughs> so all right, I'll try. I'm, I'm, I'm not you know. afraid to have NPR voice. Look, I don't want you to show up there and be silent because guess what? I there's no way I can talk for more than an hour. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just that, kidding. That's what you're. You're slated yeah, that's, for yourself. That's all I'm adding. That's all I'm adding to this. Is so I'm I'm going to talk for about forty eight hours. Your SEO guy is going to last what about half hour? Yeah, right. Yeah, let's talk if about I, your SEO guy. He's going to be there. He's going to be awesome. Yeah, Tyler Stample will be there. Tyler is uh, he's a he's a young young uh, whippersnapper that's very very savvy when it comes to internet marketing, and he will be there discussing. Uh, several variables with internet marketing, and I mean, we we actually had lunch last week, and he is just a smart dude. So, we're going to talk about influencers and how influencers, you know, are really are play an important role in your business, and and how you can sort of research these influencers and know who to connect to talk about different things when it comes to land or if you're trying to if you're trying to find a specific niche. Interesting, so. interesting. I love it, but I'm not going to go into too much detail because yeah, you, yeah, you've got it. Okay, so how. How can you book? Well, first of all, call the office, 888-620-6742, and we'll give you all the details. But November 7th and 8th, uh, we'll have a special price at the Scottsdale Resort and Conference Center. It is in November, so prices are a little high for Scottsdale, but not too bad. I mean, I want to say it's like 200 bucks a night or something like that, maybe less. But it's really nice. It's going to be a great time. And uh, everyone who went to the uh, Vegas event really had a good time. Uh, enjoyed meeting out all the other fellow investors and uh, learned a lot. Learned a lot. And I'm yeah, going to be a lot better than I was last time too. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of cool, cool people. That I have, a, I have a, a couple of commitments from some, uh, some big real estate investors that I know that will be there, um, which would be interesting to hear them talk. And they may even get up on stage and chat a little bit. Yeah. So, and, we're, and as always, we're definitely going to have some good prizes as well to be announced at a later date. But put it on your calendar. Start booking your flights now. Get a good rate. November 7th and 8th, the Land Geek Boot Camp at the Scottsdale Resort and Conference Center. And if you don't have the Investor's Toolkit, uh, you've got to buy tickets. But if you have the Investor's Toolkit, then it's free. You get those two free tickets with the toolkit. So bring a friend, bring your spouse, bring don't bring your dog, but bring someone else. Yeah, bring your. I think you can bring your dog. I don't think the dog's going to learn anything. They have small brains. That's not true. It is my, true. My, my dog is genius. Just so your you know. dog is genius, but my dog is illiterate. That's awesome. Yeah, I wouldn't want my dog at my own conference. Uh, so, Mark, I have a couple of questions for you. Yeah, what do you got? I just wanted to know what, what is your tip of the week. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're doing this to me. How many times would you say this? It is my turn to ask you, Duran. I love putting you on the spot. What is your tip of the week? You know what? You're getting cocky now with your new microphone. I am. You, you feel I like am. you're the host. I'm still the host. No way. This thing is so cool. It's right here on my desk, folks, and it is a real. You know who who are, who are those guys? Like you know Larry King on CNN. That yeah. guy has that really cool microphone. It looks better than Larry King's microphone. So I feel kind of 
I feel like a big deal. Should I, should I get the microphone and put it on my stand? Because I use a stand. You're sitting down. Yeah, you have a pretty cool microphone. I'm staring at it, Mark. I don't think you need to worry about that. Okay. So do you want to know my tip of the week? I definitely want to know your tip of the week. Okay. So, you know, we give we give away websites that kind of help, you know, you know, efficiencies, marketing processes, that kind of stuff. Today is a very special tip of the week. Today, I'm going to tell you about some a special product. It's called I don't know what it's called. I think it's called Hello. Hello. Um, it is hello.is, h e l l o.is. It is a it is a uh, simple system that tracks your sleep behavior, monitors the environment of your bedroom, and reinvents the alarm. S- oh, it's called Sense. Sorry, not Hello. It's called Sense. Sense is technology that allows allows us to take back our sleep without imposing itself, without intrusion. No more sleep better. So basically, what this is is like a little ball, and it sort of measures and gauges things like like in the environmental aspects of your room, like the heat. Um, you know, I, I don't know exactly everything it does, but it, it has an app that it communicates with. And basically when you wake up in the morning, it tells you what to fix or what to change. Kind of cool. Dream, I would, so, uh, this is like a Kickstarter campaign. They, they haven't even yeah. gotten the product out. How do you even know it's going to be any good? Dude, stop it. This, this thing is a this big is a, deal. This is like something that you get a year from now. Not this now. This is big. This is what you get it now because it's going to change the world. You know, you know what's so funny is I was looking at, I was looking at a site. And it was it was looked really cool. It was like one credit card to it was like a hundred twenty nine dollar uh, thing. And what you do is you scan all your credit cards with it, and it stores it. And it and it when you swipe it, it's it's like the one credit card to to change them all. Apple Pay comes out and completely ruins this product. This this product. There's no need for it anymore. You just use your phone. And the product was like one hundred twenty nine bucks for a credit card to hold. You know, unlimited amounts of credit cards. So, I would wait. So, so when it, when it I, I would wait for out. Apple to come out and basically, you know, create a little app that's going to do this and more. Anyways, wow. You know, Mark, you're but kind I, of a hater. You're everything. I'm not a Apple. hater. I, I like the idea, but I, I I don't like the idea when I see pre-order. Wow. I don't like that. Wow. I like I'm, that. I'm you tough. know why? Because I know that they are cutting edge. They are cutting edge. I'll give you that. So anyway, that that was just a you know okay. So you know what? Maybe my my tips of the week are getting bad, and and I need to really start focusing on getting better tip tip of the week tips of the week. So I apologize on that one, Mark. But I hope you have something that can top that. I don't, but I do have a good sight. Because let's face it, nothing's going to top a good night's sleep. Nothing. And if you have a device that's going to help you sleep. Well, that really can change your life. But my tip of the week actually will make your websites faster. And with a faster website comes, hopefully, a happier customer because I don't have to sit there and wait for your site to load because, let's face it, we're into a business that is very heavy visually, right? I'm uploading lots of pictures on my site to show potential customers what their property is going to look like. So I found a site that will actually speed up that process. It is called Kraken, K is in karate, R-A-K is in karate, E-N as in Nancy, dot I-O. Check it out, Kraken, dot I-O. I'll check it out with you. What do you think, Duran? You're a, you're a, I'm not you, that you like this Mark. stuff. You don't like it? I'm not that impressed. Why? What's wrong with it? I don't speeds up, it speeds up your your site. I'm just teasing. No, that's good. I yeah, like it. Optimizes the images. Look at that. Is it a is it a, a plugin? It's a plugin. It's a yeah free on and it's free by the way. Not are you sure? It says, why would it say C plans and pricing? Free online image optimizer. Try web. Try free yeah, web try. Advice. It's nine dollars a month, fifteen dollars a month, thirty nine a month, or seventy nine a month. Look, get, so what, look, oh, wait, wait, wait. Are you a WordPress user? Get our plugin. And start crunching those fat images right away. All right, here's the plugin. It's free, folks. Mark, ha- if you want the is- pro version, then you can pay for it. But this is free. no, no. The, the basic version, the basic version is nine dollars a month. See, folks, Mark is really good at selling people on, on just. I mean, he's just such. A, I don't even know how to explain Mark. He's just so good. What are you talking? That he well, makes am you I believe wrong? that you're going to get something for free, and you're really not. Oh my gosh, you, I think you're right. 
Here, download version 1.0.4. I'm doing it now. Did you just say I'm right? That's no, I'm. you're not right. I'm downloading it. It's done. It's so free. it's a trial. It's a 30-day trial. It's a fine for 30 days. You can you can <laughs> do it. And then when your website slows down again, you're stuck in a position where you have to pay nine dollars a month, fifteen dollars a month, or thirty nine dollars a month. Is it really nine bucks a month? Yeah. You know what? That's too much money. That is. That's really crazy. Yep. All right. Why? Well, but you know what? Try the free web interface. Try it. Try it. Try today, folks. Because yeah. if you try it. Mark will guarantee it's free. It says GoPro for as little as five dollars a month. Yeah, that's probably with a coupon code or something. <laughs> yeah, Kraken Pro comes with sixteen meg max file size, API access, additional image sources, WP plugin, and more. So you can just go on and resize it uh, for free. So I'm going to go with the free web interface, Kraken.io. I'm sorry, Duran doesn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I, I do. I do. Speed. Speed is. A good thing. Okay. Um, All right. Well, good. I like good. It. All right. Are we good? I think I think so. I mean, hopefully we've given some information to be helpful today. I, I, I'm pretty sure my sense product was pretty bad. So, you know, folks. Not, if, look, I, it's not. It could be the greatest thing ever. I just think it's it's a premature tip because it hasn't even come out yet. You know, I will say I'm very excited that the Chargers, my Chargers, beat the Seattle Seahawks yesterday. Folks, the Super Bowl champs. Yes, my team beat them yesterday. That's that's huge. It was the it was Ryan, the Ryan, large Ryan Matthews spread. got hurt though. We don't need Ryan Matthews. I never wanted Ryan Matthews. I wanted him to stay at Fresno State and be a ninth year senior. I. <laughs> 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 so anyway, um, you know, football's back. We're excited, but uh, even more important is we have another Langy Conference, and that's back. Right, and November seventh and eighth. Uh, go to actually the site's not ready yet, so I'm not going to mention the no, site. This, yeah, we, we don't have – I mean, it's, it's pretty close, Mark. It's pretty close. All right, go to landconvention.com, and I'll put a link to it as well on the uh, post. So if you want more tips, tricks, techniques on how to make an incredible income actively and passively buying and selling raw land, go to www.thelandgeek.com. Download for free the Passive Income Blueprint. Get the ebook How to Avoid the Three Fatal Land Buying Mistakes. And, of course, get this always informative and engaging podcast – delivered each week to your email inbox. And if you're interested in what Duran's got, go to reserveland.com, buy some wholesale land there, check out landhub.com. And if Duran doesn't have anything you want, check out my site, frontierpropertiesusa.com. Duran, thanks a lot, buddy. I really appreciate thank you. Thank you, sir. Back. And thank you once again for my wonderful microphone, sir. Yeah, it was, it's, it's great because you sound fantastic. And please leave a comment on iTunes and let us know how great Duran sounds with the new <laughs> Blue Yeti. And, uh, and you know, send us some love. Let us know how we're doing. And if you have any ideas for different podcast episodes, let us know. Um, we'll definitely talk about it. All right, buddy. Enjoy your surf. Thank, thank you, sir. I appreciate that. All right. We'll do this again next week. Sounds good. We'll talk then. All right. Thanks, Duran. Thanks, everybody. Thank you for listening to another episode of The Land Geek. Join us next time for more tips, secrets, and information that will help you succeed. Stay connected with The Land Geek on Facebook at facebook.com slash thelandgeek.